trending with Tassin. I got a haircut and I'm running out of shirts. It's Ramadan, which means whether or not Islamophobia is on the rise, it will be talked about. If that's due to the spiritual workings of Allah, or if mainstream media is trying to instill fear into the Muslim community, I'm not really sure. It's all very confusing. Over 1.9 billion Muslims around the world, myself included, are observing the holy month of Ramadan. You heard correctly, 1.9 billion, which probably makes us the world's largest army. That's almost a quarter of the world population. Imagine feeding that army? Hashtag no pork though. That's right, 25% of the world refuses to eat pork while drinking alcohol. During the month of Ramadan, Muslims willingly deprive themselves of food and water from sunrise to sunset, getting ready to prove that once the climate crisis causes food and water shortages, we'll be the last ones living. But at that point, who really gives a fuck? Every Ramadan, there are a few things Muslims are forced to repeatedly address as the month comes around. Telling people we fast from sunrise to sunset, don't consume any food or water, yes, even water, it lasts for 30 days, and Israel attacking mosques in Palestine. This year, Israel waiting a whole three days before conducting their first attack, which is exactly the number of days I went this Ramadan without masturbating. I used my left hand in my imagination and it was after I broke fast, so I imagine Allah will be a little more forgiving, something that can't be said for Israel, who has clearly learned nothing from its history. The Israel and Palestine conflict is arguably one of the most divisive political issues of our time, which doesn't make much sense given how badly Palestine is being decimated. At this point, Palestinians are like giant pandas or Asian elephants, endangered. White people, jump on this shit, you love saving endangered species. Israel has a yearly GDP of 500 billion US dollars, and Palestine's GDP is Honestly, it's not even close. One group is defending themselves with AK-47s and the other is using a garden hose on the shower setting. Despite this disparity, the United States still provides up to $3 billion in aid to Israel per year, falling second only to Afghanistan in aid provided to a foreign country by the United States. AFGHANISTAN both groups are armed, but one group's resources are vastly more garbage than the other. It's like trying to fight Iron Man with a Roman candle. Israel has been illegally encroaching on Palestinian land for years and has violated 28 United Nations Security Council resolutions specific to Palestine, including but not limited to illegally destroying Palestinian homes, collective punishment, forced sterilization on women, illegal settlements on occupied land, the list goes on. But how did we get here? In 1917, the British issued the Balfour Declaration, which highlighted support for a national home for Jewish people in Palestine without any consultation from local Palestinians, which is kind of crazy because Palestinians are kind of white. Furthermore, the British had no business issuing this because they didn't own that land. But shortly after issuing the declaration, the British captured Jerusalem, the capital of Palestine, and began facilitating the migration of Jewish humans into Palestine, giving them passports and making them citizens. In 1948, the British started leaving, and Israel was like, well, this bitch is ours now, using paramilitary forces to start colonizing Palestine. Since then, Israel has been able to illegally seize 85% of historic Palestine. If you're wondering how much that really is, it's an A, which is a lot, even by Asian immigrant standards. Israel continues to systematically exterminate Palestine and its people, and honestly, most people don't give a fuck. Not me though, I care, because you know, I made this video.